Hello and welcome to another technical video podcast. I'm your host Bryce Whitty and today I'm going to show you how to remove a virus without the use of automated antivirus software like AVG or Norton. For this demonstration I have infected a virtual machine with a virus I obtained from a client's computer. It's a scareware product called Antivirus 360. It's a fake antivirus that will tell you your computer has a thousand viruses and in order to remove them you need to pay for the full version. If I actually go to pay for the full version it turns out that this is a variant of antivirus 2009 which many technicians are actually aware of since we're seeing a lot of this in the field. To help me fix this I'm going to use Technibool's computer repair utility kit which gives you this nice little right click menu that allows you to easily access your tools. The repair tools I'm going to be using are Hijack This, Process Explorer, and Auto Runs, some of which I touched on in my first video podcast. I'm going to open up Process Explorer first and see what processes are running and see if we can find anything malicious. Um, most of these processes are legitimate. In most cases, a virus will actually leave out the description and the company name. Not always, but most of the time that helps us know what we're looking at. We have two interesting processes here. One is called Explorer 32 which is located in C Windows System 32 Explorer 32 and we also have AV360 which is located on the desktop. If you don't recognize a process don't be afraid to Google it. You can easily do this from within Process Explorer if you right click and search online. This AV360 process seems to be the process that's launching the scareware pop-up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and kill this task. Yes. Now if I put my mouse over the icon for antivirus 360, it disappears. So that was the process that's launching the AV360. Now this Explorer 32 is interesting. I'm going to go check this out. C Windows System 32. Now here we have Explorer 32 and it's only been added relatively recently. If this was the first time I saw this process I would probably Google it and find out what the deal with it is but as mentioned before that I got this virus from a client's computer and I've already dealt with it before and I know this Explorer 32 process is malicious. So what I'm going to do is kill the process so I can delete it. Yes, I want to kill the process and I am going to delete it. Another important thing to look at when removing viruses is to look at the dates that files were created. Most things in Win C Windows System 32 were created when the virtual machine was first installed. So pretty much anything new is likely to be a Windows update or an application might have put something there or the most recent things are probably a virus. Most clients give me a call about a day or two after their computer came infected. So I'm going to rank this is arranged by details and by the date modified and the most recent files are IE updates and winsrcdll.temp both are 0k and they were created very recently again if you don't know what these are you can google them but I have dealt with this before so I know these ones are malicious so I'm going to delete these two there are also two other files here that were created relatively recently fntcache.dat and wpa.dbl. WPA has got something to do with Windows activation and fntcache.dat is something that comes with Windows. Again, just Google it if you don't know what it is. There are a few popular places on a computer that a virus will put a dodgy file in the root of C Windows, range icons by modified, view details, Okay, so nothing new here. These are all pretty normal. Sometimes that puts files in the root drive of C. 
Sometimes it also puts it in the document settings of the current user. So it might be under local settings, temporary drive, temporary internet. Nope, that's all clean. I'm going to use another tool called Hijack This, which I touched on a little bit last time, and we're going to be using it again. Doing a system scan only, I don't really need to save a log file. Alright, now, for those who don't know what Hijack This is, it lists things that can attach itself to your copy of Internet Explorer or shows things that start up at the big, when the computer starts up. It's ideal for removing uh, adware and spyware. So the things that we have going here is Java, which is safe. Java, it's safe. Java again is safe. Java. Now this is that Explorer 32 again that's told to start up when the computer starts up. So we don't want that. I'll be deleting that. That's part of Nlight when I install this computer. TSC uninstall is a legitimate process, but admittedly I actually had to Google that one because I wasn't sure what that one was. That's part of Nlight, which I used to install. Nlight again, Nlight again. MSN Messenger, the built-in version. MSN Messenger again. Java that's fine, that's fine, and that's Java again, so all that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to remove the line that tries to launch Explorer 32. Fix checked. Do you want to permanently delete? Yes. Okay, and that's removed now. I'm also going to look at see what's running with another tool called Auto Runs. Uh, Works some part. It's got some parts of it that are similar to hijack this, but it, it covers a few more areas. I once had a virus that, although there wasn't any processes running, it keep managed to relaunching itself, which was driving me absolutely crazy. Turns out that it had a scheduled task, which which was told to launch every couple of minutes. Uh, so these are the things that show up during logon. That's fine things that associate with Internet Explorer which is safe there are no scheduled tasks told to launch this virus so that's fine and look at the services sometimes viruses can exist as a service that is all clean as well sometimes viruses can exist as drivers especially rootkits That appears to be fine as well. These are things that are told to launch when the computer starts, so that's safe. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. All that is safe. That's safe. That's safe. And that is safe. As I mentioned, if there's nothing if there's something you don't recognize, just Google it. Sometimes a virus can tell itself to launch during startup, so I can also look at MS config, which is an application built into pretty much all Windows systems now. And go to startup. And that's empty as well. That's fine. That's just Java launching itself. So that's clean, but often you will see viruses that have an entry in here told to start up when the computer starts up. This virus also left a lot of icons and shortcuts to itself everywhere. So to finish off the job, I'm just going to clear up a few of them. I'm going to delete the desktop shortcut. and it has also put one up here which I can delete as well 
Now I'm going to restart this virtual machine. Often what happens is if you don't manage to get all the files and you restart the computer, the files are aware that part of it's missing and it recreates it and your computer is back to step one pretty much. So I'm going to restart. I'm restarting. Okay, my virtual machine is starting up now and hopefully the virus hasn't recreated any copies of itself. So we're going to be looking for that antivirus 360 icon here. Doesn't look like it's going to launch, so that's good. We've stopped any reference to it of launching and we've also deleted the executables, so it shouldn't relaunch. I'm going to quickly check with the computer repair utility kit and just double check Process Explorer. Make sure the services aren't back. Nope, they are not back. And I'm also going to check the locations again of where it was showing up before. See, see root is clean. The Windows directory is clean. And System32 is clean. One last thing that's important to check is the system restore of a computer. The System Restore can make a snapshot of the virus and keep a copy of itself in System Restore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off System Restore, which deletes all the snapshots that it's created. All right, now we can see that System Restore is turned off and all the backups are deleted. Now I'm going to turn the System Restore back on for the future of this computer so it can use System Restore in the future. Okay, System Restore is back on. That's it for the virus as far as we can see. You may want to still run uh, antivirus software over the top of it like AVG or Norton just to make sure nothing was missed. But there is currently no active viruses running on this machine. That's it for the process of removing a virus without the use of antivirus software. Thank you for watching.